the last redeemed wrestling show was drowning in controversy. The sign contest was the biggest con job ever pulled in the history of con jobs. That contest was more fixed than Bob Parker's dog. This is the sign that Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles picked to win. They picked some bratty kid sign over the sophisticated work of art that my signs were. Look at these things right here. This one. I actually built a woodshed, a miniature woodshed on the sign. This is beautiful. And they didn't even pick it to win. And this one. Aquaman. That's hilarious. And they didn't pick it to win. Then you got the odd couple. Is that smart or what? Sophistication right here, folks. And then you have Blunder Horse. And his three eyes and he can't see that he sucks. That took some brain power. And then the best one of all, you have the Wrecking Crew one. Where Ron gets hit with the Wrecking Crew Wrecking Ball. And they didn't pick my signs to win. Unlike my signs that were incredibly smart and sophisticated, they picked this kid's Nick Jr. preschool garbage that was thrown together in a minute. My signs cost a lot of money, like at least $15. My signs are the product of long hours of hard work and hours of brainstorming. Helen Keller could see this sham job for what it is, and she's dead. Everybody knows that I am the real world heavyweight sign Champion. I challenge that kid to a fight for the title, but he's a real daffy. He keeps ducking me. The real question is how could this prestige competition end so terribly? Well, the answer is President Ron. Ron told the judges before the competition even started to not pick me as the winner. Talk about lack of integrity. Why does everything that Ron touches reek with corruption. He has a history of conducting himself in a manner that is not worthy of being redeemed wrestling CEO. He has instructed on numerous occasions the referees to throw the match in the favor of the opponents of Mike Reels. He interferes with DDT in their match and then for no reason hits poor innocent Malachi over the head with a chair. There's no end to the controversy. So I started looking into Ron's history. This led me to his family tree, which was easy to read because there's no branches. It just goes up and down. And as you're looking at this family tree, you have great-great-grandpa chief running makeup and great-great-grandma crow face. And then it goes down to great-great-grandpa Bubby and great-great-grandpa Shaniqua. And great grandpa Bobo, and great grandma Mimsy, and great grandpa Crow Crow, and grandma Willie. The last two, they found Ron at a truck stop in Arkansas. All right? So they, they, he wasn't even related to them whatsoever. All right? And then you look at this article from this well respected publication, the news that everyone trusts, better than Fox News, CNN, NBC, all of that. Look at this weekly world news report about Hillary Clinton. See, there it is. The truth that Ron has tried to hide for years. And that is he is Hillary Clinton's long lost son. Look at this photo of Hillary. I put a beard on her. Look how close she looks like Ron. She looks exactly like him. This explains why Ron keeps losing my email. It also explains why everything he does is corrupt. It all makes sense now, especially if you don't think about it. I thank God for the men of integrity and character, men like the Wrecking Crew, DDT, and the Pink Flamingos. These heroes are doing everything they can to end Ron Clinton's evil scheme. As the World Heavyweight Sign Champion, I will continue to use my signs to proclaim the truth about what really is going on. My signs are the WikiLeaks of Redeem Wrestling. With us men of integrity working together, we will stop Ron and his co-conspirators from spreading the poison that is ruining Redeemed Wrestling. Mwaga! 
make Redeem Wrestling great again. Ron, watch out, because I'm coming for you. Capiche, sign guy out.